Brittany, this is the first time you and I have met in person, mm -hmm. but you and I were supposed to meet at the Single Life Tell All. Uh huh. What happened? I just had a feeling that Yazan was gonna be present. Well, you know, but you, <laughs> you've seen the tell-alls before. You know everybody comes together, talks about the relationships. So yeah. you were prepared to talk to Yazan, right? Um, sometimes I feel like I can, you know. Other times I feel like I can't because I've tried like a lot of times to be cordial with Yazan and there's a lot of things that I don't say about what he's done or the thing or the person who he is. So I feel like um, the least he can do is respect my boundaries and not show up or s speak about me. Yeah, I totally understand respecting boundaries. Yeah. However, when you talk about respect, you also had to think about the other people who were on the show, who were waiting. I mean, we were waiting for hours, you know, and nobody knew. But you yeah. were actually and in New York, right? Yeah, Terrence yeah. knew I was there. Terrence Sorry, made yeah. it seem like he was wondering if you were coming there now. Yeah. He was He's thinking, a great actor. He needs to be an actor. Really? Ooh. He's a great actor, yeah. Okay. The first <laughs> thing that the producers told me, though, mm -hmm. was that Britney was having a problem with her hair. Mm -hmm. Was there anything to that? Any yeah. truth to that? My hair just wasn't right, and there were certain things that I needed. I needed a stylist that, you know, could do certain things. You know, I thought the stylist was gonna be able to do that. When I got there, she did not know anything about, like, what it was, and it was, like, assured to me that she did. So I just kind of felt, like, blindsided by that. So I was like, okay, I could have brought some tools with me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the last straw that made me leave was, like, Terrence and I got into, like, kind of, like, a disagreement. He yeah. wanted me to come to his room, and he just kept asking me to come to his room, and it was like, we're not even on those terms for you to be asking me to come back to your room. Like, Wait, he wanted you to come back to the room, what, like, to be yeah. intimate with you? Yeah, he wanted to be intimate with me, and, like, he was basically mad because I wouldn't come back to his room, and he, like, hung up in my face, and I just was like, if I go to this tell-all, I know how it's gonna go. He's gonna be upset because I didn't give him any, <laughs> and it's gonna be a whole different situation, so I was really going, expecting for this person, like, to have my back, and I think that conversation just kind of made me see him in a different light. Walk me through that timeline, deciding you weren't going to come to the tell-all and the issue with Terrence. So, like, how did it all, how did it all play out? Because it was just really a short amount of time before you actually went back to Houston, right? Yeah, so, like, I think the whole day before I was like, okay, you know, I was communicating with the producers yes. about my hair, you know, I was like, has hairstylist canceled on me, you know, for doing it out here? I can't find anybody out there at the last minute to do the style that I need them to do, you know, because yeah. I was wearing a lace uh, wig at that time. Not a lot of stylists know how to do that. Yes. Not a lot. Maybe I can do something myself. I don't know. I'll try to, like, figure something out. And when they were trying to find me a couple hairstylists and she assured me, so I was like, okay, well, maybe I will go, you know? Yeah. So then I was like, okay, well, then I'll go. So I got on the plane because I really wasn't going to get even get on the plane because I was telling them, you know, I don't think I can make this happen with my hair. Yes. So, but because she assured me, I was like, you know, okay, I'll come. So I came and then I was yeah. like, do you have this? Do you have that? Do you have that? I like asked her all the products because I know the products I need. She was like, yes, I have these products. I was like, do you know how to do this? This is exactly what I need you to do. I sent YouTube videos. I was like, do you know how to do this? She's like, yes, yes, yes. I get there. She didn't know how to do it at all. Yeah. She didn't have the products at all. And she was like, how do you do this? Like she was asking me like how to do things and it was like coming up here apparent to me that she was just right. saying yes. And at that point, <laughs> were you thinking to yourself, okay, I'm gonna look whack on the tell-all. Yeah, I'm like, but, I'm about to look crazy because uh, you're asking me what to do and you're the stylist. Okay, okay. <laughs> and, like, and so then after that, is that when the Terrence thing started yeah. to, to unfold? So after that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to another room and I'm gonna be in a space I'm comfortable in and I'm yeah. gonna try to do something with my hair. So that I was, basically doing that. I was doing my hair, and as I was doing that, Terrence was like calling, 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 yeah. calling, you know? I just felt like, you know what? This is too much. I'm gonna be around too many energies I don't wanna be around. Everything is just going so bad. Like, I felt like the spirit was just telling me like, this is not where you need to be right now. Do you think Terrence was hurt that you didn't show up at the tell -all? I think Terrence's ego was hurt. I think he definitely felt like I was gonna come back to him, and I okay. didn't, and I think his ego was hurt because of it. 
when you didn't show up at the tell-all. You didn't just hurt Terrence. You really hit a nerve with the rest of the single life cast. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Morning, good morning. How you doing, man? Tell me. right up in here. We know that Brittany made it in last night. Uh, she wasn't in her room this morning. So we're not exactly sure where she is. But... So we have no ETA on her at all. And I know she made it in. We know she was at the hotel last night, but this morning, no luggage, no nothing. Maybe she's in Jordan. That's not funny. Something could have really happened to her that's not, that's kind of scary. Yes, so I think we're going to get started in like she probably still sleeping. I should have slept too. It, it, it really is crazy. I mean, I hope she's okay in truth and love. Like, but best case scenario is that she's just somewhere with somebody with a lot of money having a really good time. Just saying. Maybe she got lucky. And Maybe met she's somebody. the diva that has to drop in at the end. Who knows? We plan to have everyone here today, but right now we are still waiting for Brittany. I got Brittany on the phone. You Brittany's have on. Brittany on the phone. Yes. Okay, Brittany. Well, you look beautiful. Oh, girl, you look beautiful. What are you doing? You know. No, we don't know. You know, you know, we don't. I know this. I know we got up early as hell and that that it was really disrespectful for you not to communicate that you weren't coming and we've been sitting around here waiting on you. This is crazy cuz I missed a day of school to be here. Hang up the fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> Give me 10 bucks if you hang up the phone. There's no room for diva here. She's full of shit. I'm mad right now. It's not cool. Wow. Well, Brittany, what about the cast? What would you say to um, Molly, to Colt, to Ed, the rest of them? I've seen Colt be very disrespectful to women, so I don't care what he says. I've seen Molly be very disrespectful to women, and she's a woman herself, so I don't care what she says. The only person that I would apologize to is you and Jess and Fernanda, but that's about it. I do what's best for me all the time. And like, I feel like if any of the other cast members felt like, you know what, mentally, this isn't a space for me right now, I would have respected it. What about the comment um, that maybe she's with another man? Yeah, I don't what know. I feel like Molly has some like weird jealousy with me because I, I feel like it's always like a weird comment from her. Mm. I don't just run off with um, men for money or, whatever the case may be. I don't know um, if she's projecting that onto me because that's what she does, but yeah, that's not me. Was there anything that you wanted to say on the tell-all just to set something straight that you did not get the opportunity to say? Yeah, I did want to say, you know, uh, that I didn't leave Terrence on. If anything, I was let on because he kept saying he wanted a relationship and when it was came down to it, he'd be like, oh no, I don't want a relationship, you know? But if he seen me like dating someone else, then he would want to get serious. And he would say, no, like, you're my girl, you're my woman, you like da da da, and then I would get rid of them. And then he'd be like, no, I just want to be friends. So it was like, I'm not about to keep playing this game with you. Yeah. We're done.